Buick has yet to let out a single peep about the next generation Regal, but General Motors Opel brand is blabbing all about the Europe market insignia sedan that is essentially a Regal with different badges. After seeing undisguised photos of the insignia sedan and wagon earlier this week, we now have even more insight into the 2018 Regal thanks to official photos of and info on the Insignia Grand Sport sedan, and there's more from the new Australia market Holden Commodore, which is abandoning its previous rear-drive platform and migrating to the Insignia architecture as well. With a 3.6-inch longer wheelbase than the last Insignia, the new model now has the exact same stretch between the axles as the Chevrolet Malibu, no coincidence given that the two sedans share Epsilon E2XX underpinnings. Indeed, we can see some Malibu in the overall proportions of the Opal, although the Insignia's attractive side surfacing, tasteful chrome detailing, and sharp headlight and tail light treatments give it a style statement all its own. The Opal's interior, too, looks to be significantly more upscale than the Chevy's, with a dash design similar to that of the Buick La Crosse. Holden's press materials give details on the interior's frameless 8.0-inch touchscreen, which offers Android Auto and Apple CarPlay capability, while rear seat room and trunk capacity are both said to increase compared with the outgoing car. Also setting the insignia apart is the availability of all-wheel drive with the same twinster torque vectoring system used in the Cadillac XD5 and Buick Envision, as well as an optional adaptive suspension with flex ride dampers. While the only detail Opa will provide on the Insignia's powertrain is the fact that it'll have an 8-speed automatic transmission, Holden divulged that the Commodore will offer a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder with front-wheel drive and an optional 308-horsepower V6 mated to a 9-speed automatic and the aforementioned AWD system. That V6 AWD combination might well be in store for the high-performance Regal GS in the United States. Although we admit we're disappointed that there's no mention of a manual transmission from either Opel or Holden, the US market Regal GS offered a six-speed manual as recently as 2015 with its 259-horsepower 2.0-liter turbo 4. Nor were photos of the wagon variant included, although we got a good look at the long roof insignia and spy photos. U.S. specific info on the Regal likely won't be out until next spring, perhaps around the same time the insignia makes its official debut at the Geneva Auto Show in March.